Hi friends, this is me Gokul Das and welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, do you want to become a pilot or do you want to serve the Indian Air Force specifically? Then this video is for you guys. In this video, I am going to explain you about the AFCAD exam which is a way to get into the Indian Air Force. AFCAD stands for Air Force Common Admission Test which is conducted by the Indian Air Force for the recruitment of officers in all the branches except medical and dental. This exam is conducted twice every year, usually in the month of February and uh, September. So the branches in the Indian Air Force are 1. The Flying Branch 2. The Technical Branch and 3. The Ground Duty Branch now, let's see the eligibility criteria for each branch in detail. First one is the flying branch. The flying branch is a short service commission which is applicable for both men and women. First, you need to understand what is short service commission. Short service commission is nothing but you need to serve Indian Air Force for minimum of 10 years plus 4 years is the extension period. And it is up to you to resign the post during that period of four years. Now, let's see the education qualification of the flying branch. Graduation, that is minimum of three years in any discipline with 60 percentage marks in aggregate and should have passed physics and mathematics as a subject in 12th standard. Or B or B Tech degree from a recognized university with minimum of 60 percentage marks and the age limit is 20 to 24 years and it is extended up to 26 years for the candidates who have commercial pilot license issued by DGCU. Then the minimum height requirements are may men and women should have 162.5 centimeters in height. You should have a minimum vision of 6 bar 6 in one eye and 6 bar 9 in the other eye. And uh, the final year students can also apply for the AFCAD exam if they have set you 60 percentage marks uh, with no present backlogs and they should provide the original or provisional degree certificate before the commencement of the training. Technical branch includes short service commission and permanent commission. So what is permanent commission? Permanent commission is nothing but you can serve the Indian Air Force till you retire. And the educational qualification of technical branch is you should have a four year degree qualification and should have passed sections A and B of associate membership of institution of engineers or Aeronautical Society of India with 60 percentage marks. The age limit is 20 to 26 years. And the height requirements are for men 157.5 cm and for women 152 cm with correlated weight. For technical branch, aeronautical electrical or aeronautical mechanical engineers can apply. Now let's see the eligibility criteria for ground duty branch. The ground duty branch is also a short service as well as permanent commission. Graduation minimum of 3 years in any discipline with minimum of 60 percentage marks in aggregate or should have cleared the sections A and B examination of associate membership of institution of engineers or Aeronautical Society of India with 60 percentage marks to apply for the post in administration and logistics or a BCom that is minimum of 3 years with minimum of 60 percentage marks to apply for the post of accountant or MA bar MSc or MBA bar MCA degrees in uh, in a list of, they have given a list of many disciplines such as English, Mathematics, Chemistry, etc. with 50 percentage marks in aggregate for the post-graduation that is two years program or 60 percentage marks for graduation uh, to apply for education posts. And the age limit 
given as 20 to 26 years and the height requirement for this branch is for men 157.5 cm and for women 152 cm with correlated widths. So friends, these are the eligibility criteria for each branches. Now let's see the syllabus for AFCAD examination. The AFCAD examination is conducted for 2 hours. The duration is 2 hours and it includes objective type questions related to English, elementary mathematics, reasoning, aptitude and the general awareness. So this is the syllabus related to which they ask the objective type questions. Now, after you complete the written test, you will be called for the AFSB interview. If you are applying for the technical branch, you need to write a written test as well as the EKT that is engineering knowledge test. So you need to clear the, both the tests in order to apply for the post in technical branch. Then, now let's see the AFSB procedure, the AFSB interview, which consists of screening test, then comes the psychological test, group test, medical test and interview and computerized pilot selection system that is CPSS or pilot attitude battery test that is PABT for the candidates who are selected for the flying branch. AFSB interview is a process of 6 days. So my dear friends, this is what the AFCAT exam is all about and I request you to share this video with your friends to create awareness and uh, all the best to all of you guys for your career. Jai